Hello and welcome YouTube to the second iteration of one of my greatest videos of all time Upgrading a laptop GPU now of course this is the second version of this video now firstly This is for people who have established that they can in fact upgrade their GPU because they have an MXM a or an MXM B grade graphics card now firstly guys before you even look at this video, make sure you look at the first version of this video. You're going to come to this website and you're going to see whether you can upgrade or not. If you are if you can't be bothered doing that, I'm going to quickly go through it anyway. So pretty much, if when you come to this website, link will be in the description. You Pretty much, the number one best way to check is you look at bus. If you have MXMB or you have MXMA, just like that, just how it's worded, just like that. You click the card and you, you can see the legit card right there. Then you can upgrade that son of a bitch, bruh. Good on you, mate. You can do it. You've got yourself a gaming grade laptop, which is upgradable. However, if you see all this PCI Express 2.0 X16 crap that does not have MXMA or MXMB and you click it, say, for example, let's just go 6490M. You can see it's just a chip. Chances are you won't be able to upgrade it and that's unfortunate and please if you have Intel HD graphics Don't ask if you can upgrade because you can't just flat out. You can't if you have an APU most likely you can't however That situation is different, but if you have Intel HD graphics, please don't ask so anyway You've established that you can buy a GPU you can upgrade so let's just take an example here Let's get the GTX what can I get? Let's let's go GTX 770M right here. This card is an MXM B grade card, as you can see by the dimensions of it. I said this before in the previous video. Please watch that video before you watch this. You can see this is clearly an MXM B form factor card. Now, firstly, once you establish that you can upgrade, it does not stop there. There's one more thing you need to realize. There are only a few cards that can actually be upgraded, uh, a few laptops that can actually be upgraded. And mainly, they're from the following brands. So if you don't have one of these brands, chances are you have a proprietary MXM card, meaning you can, you pretty much meaning you can't upgrade. So look, if you have one of the following one of the, I'm not even going to type it up, I'm, I'm talking, why the hell would I type it? If you have one of the following branded laptops, then you can upgrade. I'm pretty sure MSI, you can definitely upgrade with MSI. Clevo, um, Alienware, um, what else? Uh, Alienware, Clevo, MSI. Some Asus laptops, not all of them, some of them. Because I know a lot of them have proprietary MXM cards. So not all of them. I believe, oh, what's that? I think HP does some. Hold on, let me look it up. Let me look it up for you guys, just in case. This is going to be a learning curve for all of us. So, you know, let's just look. All right, here we go. Mobile PCI Express. Let me move this over. The brands are right here. So, Clevo, MSI, Alienware, um, Dell. Dell does some, but if you're buying a Dell lap laptop, you're probably going to be buying an Alienware. Like, you know what I mean, for gaming. HP does use some, as I was saying before. Lenovo, yes. Lenovo does use a few. Um, Apple, no. Just go away. And look, as I was saying before, Asus utilizes non-standard MXM modules. So, no, you cannot upgrade Asus laptops. That's unfortunate. So, pretty much, Clevo, MSI, Alienware, some Dells, some HPs, and uh, some Lenovo's you can upgrade. So, once you do that... Once again, let's get straight back to it. Say you have a GTX 770M. Look at the TDP, 75 watts. That means that the fan that is running or supporting your 770M pretty much only wants to take a TDP of 75 watts. So before you even think about upgrading, make sure you get a GPU that is around that wattage. So let's say, um, what other cards are there here? Um, MXMB. Uh, 880M, let's go 888, 870. All right, so the 870M has 100, 880M, sorry, has a 122 watt TDP. Now, technically, yes, you could, you could upgrade it. However, I don't know if your fan will be able to run it and it's better not, you're just better off not doing it. So here's something slightly more desirable. The GTX 870M, it's got a 100 watt TDP. That is 25 no, not even 25%. That's a 33% increase on top 
of your fans supposed capabilities so if you want to take the risk go ahead so here we go gtx 870m what you do is you go over to ebay you type in gtx 870m now of course it's going to come up with laptops you're going to want to click worldwide uh here we go world oh sorry sorry worldwide then you click computer components and parts and then you will see gtx 870m as you can see the sons of bitches are expensive man 500 600 dollars before you do this you better make sure you're confident in doing this don't blame me if like shit doesn't work out for you but anyway you click one so let's just click this one all of them are going to be either from america or china so you click it you take a look um uh, sometimes they will offer you the um look sometimes they even show you what laptop it'll work on so here clever um alienware msi so you know what it'll work on but sometimes they will give you what's it called thermal paste they'll give you, you know the whole kit the whole setup and sometimes they won't sometimes you just need to use your own so once you go here you need to take a look do you want to buy this car? Do you want to spend the money? And think about it. I'm pretty sure you're going to need modded drivers. I, I've heard that before. Um, let's go. I believe if I come to um, upgrade the monkey, they will say you need modded drivers. Uh, 870M. Here we go. Installing the card in the uh, flash bar. Yeah, you have to flash your BIOS. Um, there's a whole lot of stuff you need to do. You need to read the eBay... Um, eBay page properly and even even message me if you really want to if you you're very keen on doing this message me and I'll help you out I have been successful in helping people upgrade their GPUs um, one guy I believe had an MSI laptop had like a 770M wanted an 880M helped the guy out he I took he took a picture of his laptop for me I helped him he upgraded it was successful everything was great so that was all good so if you need help message me but you know, it, I can't be perfect. So here we go. Here we go. This is this is completely specific to a single laptop. Clever P fifteen X SM P seventeen X SM. It's got the whole kit for you. It's got you know the thermal compound, the thermal pads, um, the fan, the you know oh, what's it called, the mounting bracket, the um uh, heat sink. It's got everything here for you. However, obviously, you're going to need it for that laptop. So you're going to need that laptop, you know, all this stuff. So look, you need to research yourself. Look, here, even here, find out if your system supports MXM 3.0B cards. It's just like this video, guys. But anyway, once you're doing the actual upgrade process, since I won't be able to make a video on that, there's a few things you need to know. You need an electrostatic wristband. They cost like $2. Just buy one. Buy one so that static electricity doesn't shock you or doesn't shock the parts on your computer. So buy, um, you need to buy that. If it doesn't come with some, you need to buy some thermal paste, um, you know, to put on the GPU to keep it cooled. Uh, you're gonna need to ensure that you know what you're doing. Keep your screws. Make sure you're confident in what you're doing. Don't bitch out. Make sure you keep everything together. If you lose anything, you will screw up, and I won't be able to help you from there. Um, just even this stuff remove your battery take ESD precautions disassemble your notebook to uncover the uh, VGA card look It's giving you full instructions on how to do it. There are videos on uh, not Facebook on YouTube on how to actually do it But please guys I need to stress this enough be careful when doing this man Because there's a chance that it doesn't work. I tell this to people all the time It might not work. You need to be prepared to face that so if it doesn't work then unfortunately it's your fault so anyway let's let's just keep looking say you have a gtx 570m this has a 75 watt tdp then you can get to come get yourself an 870m or you can get yourself a 770m that's the perfect upgrade 570 to 770 that's great same tdp you won't run into any kind of uh what's it called heat issues that would be great for you and so if you have a 560m or 570M, get yourself a 770M, guys. But of course, once again, make sure you have an MXM grade card. Make sure you can remove it, and make sure you know you do everything required, like flashing BIOS and all that kind of stuff. Now, I myself do not have an MXM brand or capable laptop, so I can't actually do a physical video. However, I'm trying to inform you guys as best as I can on the subject. You need the information. You need the research. So. 
that I've pretty much done the best I can do in these two videos. This video was much more focused on actually choosing what to buy. So if you want, I'll, I'll keep on going. Say you have an, uh, where is it, 7970M. Um, at first of all, if you have a 7970M, that's the best AMD card you can get at the moment. M9290X or whatever it's called is still a 7970M rebranded. So there's no need to upgrade that. However, if you have like a 550M, 560M, 570M, 675MX and all that kind of stuff, then think about upgrading. So once again, guys, I've done the best I can. I can't really help you anymore from here. It's just about opening up your laptop and checking that son of a bitch to see if you can upgrade. And you need to be prepared once again to flash BIOS. You need to be prepared for this to not work. Yes. It's a risk you need to take. You see, the kind of money you put into this single GPU could be put into building a very, very good computer, gaming uh, desktop PC. However, if you've got no choice and you need to do it, then hell, do it, bruh, do it. But just be careful, guys, and make sure you know that this will work on your laptop. So once again, Clevo MSI Alienware, Lenovo, and sometimes HP, not Asus. Repeat, not Asus. So yeah. Thanks for watching guys, like, I wanted to structure this video slightly better, but this is a kind of all over the place topic, so, who knows, and anyway, good luck, and I hope you enjoyed.